Now that the yield at benchmark 10-year Treasury has pulled back rather dramatically from its highs, is it an opportunity to own dividend stocks like the real estate investment trusts again? To help answer that question, tonight I want to introduce you to a new one. It's called Vici Properties. It's a casino and hotel REIT that owns a bunch of Caesars properties, both in Vegas and the rest of the country. After the old Caesars declared bankruptcy, they ended up spinning off the real estate assets as Vici. And this company then came public earlier this year. Regular viewers know I really like the domestic casino plays. So how about a casino REIT? Now that we don't need to worry about rising rates, at least at this very moment, this one yields 5.4%. Well, when Vici reported early this month, the company gave us a clean top and bottom line beat. Business is good here. So let's take a closer look with Ed Petoniak. He's the CEO of Vici Properties to learn more about the company's prospects. Mr. Petoniak, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Yeah, good to see you. Well, we are intrigued by your company. Please have a seat. Uh, having been to both the Caesars Properties in, in uh, Atlantic City and also uh, in Vegas, you've got some real high-quality real estate. Why don't you tell us how it came about? Because this should be uh, multiple years that you make a lot of money from these properties. That's absolutely right, Jim. So th this came about by virtue of um, a, a bankruptcy process that an entity within Caesars did go through. And the creditors of that entity decided to get their credit satisfied by taking the real estate of those assets as their consideration and put together a board and a management team, of which I'm now obviously part, um, to create what we believe can be and is becoming the next great American REIT, built around these incomparable assets. Right. Uh, in terms of my background, I, I've been in ski resort operations, beach yeah. resort operations, desert, run two hotel REITs. I have never been, been privileged to work with assets that are as economically majestic as assets like Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, and so many of the assets that we own and that our great partner Caesars operates. Uh, really, only theme parks exceed them in economic. Yeah, we've been, you know, we, we recommend Cedar Fair and Six Flags, and they've been great for our viewers. Jim Yearns, a friend of the show and a friend of mine when I used to be a hedge fund manager, he has MGP, as MGM. Uh, tell us the differences and similarities between that, which we've been recommending in yours. Yeah, well, MGP's got great assets. Jim obviously runs a great company, great operator, great branding. Um, our, our business is built around being an independent REIT. Um, there's no overlap between board and right. management teams of, of our one tenant at this point and eventually multiple tenants and ourselves. Um, uh, we have we really like the distribution we've got between Las Vegas and and the regions. We right. think the regions give us resilience and stability. Vegas gives us upside that we love That's in very the future. Good points. You have diversification and it's at arm's length. There's no you are not on the board of Caesars. Now your your president knows the Caesars yes, well he does. because he came from that, which we want. Obviously, we want. To, uh, but we also know that you are not limited to Caesars. You have this experiential idea, which we've also liked as a good theme for real estate investment trusts. It's, it's, it's a great theme right now, given where the culture is going. And when you look at so much of the value that's been created in real estate, especially experientially focused mm -hmm. or leisure focused real estate over the last 10 or 20 years, it's been about people like Ian Schrager and Ber Barry Stern, like right. recognizing where's the culture going and what's the implication for place-based leisure. And we think the next 10 to 20 years are an awesome period for this, given that you've got millennials who invent, invented destination blank, right. whatever that is, fill in the blank. Right. Um, and the baby boom going into semi-retirement and retirement and having the greatest amount of leisure time in their lives. And it will be about the seeking of experience, not of things. Now, is there anything you can do with some of the properties that uh, where you maybe own the land to? Uh, to the Chester property, which is mm -hmm. I'm familiar with. That's a beautiful property. Yes. And, it, and they remodeled it recently. And it's great. You just own the building. Buildings, you actually own adjacent land, too. Uh, the, 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 we own the adjacent land, too. And what we'll always be eager to do with Caesars or any of our other partners is go through an envisioning process that, that constantly reimagines and refreshes the experiences. And I would just say, just to take one moment, I've never been exposed to operators that are as ingenious at constantly reinventing the guest experiences gaming operators are. Right. Totally. Amazing. Yep. And now, when you uh, look at other experiential, we have uh, recommended from time to time EPR, which they do golf. And golf's a really terrific business. It's really on fire. I mean, would you think about doing something like that? Well, we actually own four golf courses yeah, in the stands it, right I now. But I don't, I, aren't they part of the... The TRS, yes, the, yes, yes, the taxable okay. REIT subsidiary right. within our entity, and 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 we're gonna we're gonna see how we do there. And I agree with you. I mean, there's some tailwinds reviving behind right. the sport, and and the golf industry deserves credit for recognizing they had issues in the experience that they're addressing to fix, whether right. it be time commitment or or sheer difficulty. 
Okay, because I, I wonder if that was going to bubble up from being from in that subsidiary. Last thing is that uh, we're quite intrigued by gambling and what it might mean. Uh, resurgence, new uh, visitors, whatever. And, and particularly, you've got Heartland Casinos. Uh, yes. It, place, places, do you think, that might be uh, hubs of gambling? Absolutely. And, you know, and, and sports gaming, we think, is a, is a positive for the, in, for the entire country where it takes place. We think it potentially introduces a new generation of customers into the asset, gives them one more reason to visit. Right. Um, this is a generation that loves the shared experience. There is no rational reason to explain why hundreds of thousands of people go to Las Vegas in March to watch basketball games on big televisions. They do have televisions at right. home. But it's the sharing of the experience that we think is what is bringing people together. And we think our regional assets have a chance, especially with st a stronger economy between right. the coasts, finally, to, to benefit from that and, and offer shared experiences, whether through sports betting or other experiences, that make them the magnets they can be. All right. Well, look, I think it's terrific. I'm glad you explained the difference between this one and MGP, which we also like. But they are, they are very big differences, and I want people to know them. That's Ed Petoniak, and he's the CEO. You know, Vici Properties, it's V-I-C-I, -I, like he came, he saw, he conquered. That money's <laughs> back after the break. <laughs> Thank you. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.